All right, guys, welcome back. Before we get started in this video, I guys, support the channel. You guys gotta subscribe. If you guys want some more content, leave me a comment at the bottom. And then if any of the videos that you've seen, don't forget to pound that like button. So let's get back on the topic of maintaining your radiator and your charge air cooler. So all I can tell you is what I've done when I used to live in Colorado working on trucks when they went through the salt and dust storms. So what I did was I would buy a wand, you know, for your pressure washer, take the end of the one nozzle off and cap it and drill little holes on each side. And then also at the other end where it's threaded, you're gonna put a fitting for your uh, air compressor so you can hook air up to it. And then what I'm gonna, what I would do is I'll put it right in between the radiator and charge air cooler and then just start blowing it out. And it's gonna get messy guys. So I highly suggest that you guys get eye protection as well as one of those little painter's masks. You know, the cheap one, not the full fancy. And then go right at it and expect to take a shower afterwards. What I wanna do here is I'm gonna show you where you would place that wand on this truck right behind me. And like I said, it's very simple. You put it right between the radiator and charger cooler and you just work it back and forth. All right guys, so right now I'm on top of this Freightliner Cascadia. And then I know I said that you can put the wand between the radiator and the charge air cooler. On this one, you're not gonna be able to, but in some trucks you can. So if you can't do it there, what I would do is highly put it right in between the condenser and the charge air cooler, and then just start blowing right through here. And then over here on this side, what you do is just move the fan a little bit out of the way. You know, you could just push on it. You're not gonna hurt anything. And then get the wand and just start working across the radiator and start blowing it out. And you're gonna see all this in this area engulf and dust, especially if you just recently went through a dust storm. And this is an easier way for you to maintain so you don't overheat. And that's the main goal is not to overheat so you don't damage your motor. If you guys like what you saw today, don't forget to pound that like button. If you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment at the bottom. And guys, please subscribe. I wanna get you some more uh, content your way so you can save some money. See you guys around.